with Broadway Black TV. I'm Andrew Shade, and we're standing here with two amazing playwrights. We have Dominique Moriso as well as Harrison David Rivers. Uh, two of the most, I can't even begin to say it, but of the most amazing playwrights here. They're both deb debuting shows in Harlem. Tell us about how you got to this particular point in the debut shows here in Harlem for our people. Yeah. Starting with Dominic, yeah. Uh, well, mine started with a journey of do I've been reading plays and doing poetry and doing things like that in Harlem since I moved out here, like over 10 years ago, you know? Um, but I think uh, this particular track is me coming in through the Public's Emerging Writers Group, and they, uh, you know, wanted to help push my play forward, and, and then CTH is somebody I've also like been developing my plays with. I've been a part of their classics reading series, um, and so the two institutions together kind of approached me about doing my work, and that they had approached each other and said that they wanted to work together and asked me if I'm, you know, wanted to be the playwright that that happened with. You? I said yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I mean, that's sort of how that journey happened for me. In a short verse, that's a short verse. All right. <laughs> that's and for you, for you, for uh, you, I've been working with a theater company called the Movement Theater Company for okay. two and a half years, developing this piece, and they're based here in Harlem. So we've always thought and wanted and desired it to debut here. So uh, through that company and Harlem School of the Arts, it, they're they're making it happen. Which is, yeah. Really exciting. Man, really and they're incredible. an awesome company. They, I love the theater. It company. really is. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. tell us a little bit about it. If somebody had never heard of your piece, never seen an advertisement, never seen anything, what would you say that it was about? And what would you want them to take away from it? You know, on the surface, it's gonna, my play could be about the Detroit riots, but I think it's about much more than that. I think it's about a family who comes together, and it's about siblinghood, and what keeps a family together when a city is being divided. Mm -hmm. Um, it's about dreaming, and it is about the soul of what I think is the fabric of Detroit. It's about the heart and soul and, and the, the humanity that comes out of us in the most extreme circumstances. So that's what I say that the play is about, and people should come see it because, hey, the first act is like a party, and everybody's <laughs> invited. Come get your party on with us. Every, the door is open, you know? I think that it'll be a fun ride, yeah. you know? For you or Which is sort of funny because your first act is a party and my second act is a party. I love that. Um, and I would say that loneliness is about a community of men who come together to sort of grieve and mourn and then to sort of move forward um, after the death of a friend. So it's sort of sad, but then they find the joy partway through. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So how has it been developing these pieces, um, especially with the cast that you've chosen? Um, I know that you have some wonderful actors and actresses that are just a dream to have. Because yeah. I saw the show at the public theater. Yeah. Um, and for you, Harrison, having some of the people, mm -hmm. some local talent, uh, just some people that have been all over the map. Definitely. So how has it been working with those cast members? Yeah, for me, it's, it's been a dream. I mean, this is a dream thing. And there have been other hands that have touched it that have also been dreamy. So I really I want to say that this cast came together in, the, in a particular way with my input and the public's input and my director's input and classical theater department's input. And I feel like normally when that happens, you're like, somebody's going to feel like the loser here. <laughs> right? Like, you put your egg in, but I'm like, ah. <laughs> but that's not the case. Like, we all put together a tight ensemble that we all love. And, and what I can say about these folks, because some of them, the lead actor, Michelle Wilson and uh, Brandon Durden, they have been with this place since its genesis, right? Wow. Since I've sat in my living room and asked them to come over and like hear this thing that nice. I tried out, you know? Uh, and to, it's, it is nothing but amazing to watch it come together with them and the people that we picked up along the way to help make this like an awesome experience. And they brought so much joy into this rehearsal process. You dream of a process like this, you do, you know? It's been amazing. I mean, I think our pieces have been built the same way. Yeah. I think they've started in the living room, yeah. and they've sort of moved forward from there. And we've had like, over 50 men come in and read mm -hmm. the nine roles in the show over the course of two and a half years. And the ones that we have now are incredible and have brought new things. And the play continues to change and sort of mold to what they bring to the room. But there is nothing that we are doing now that isn't, that we aren't grateful to those who have come That's right. and worked on the piece. But I'm, I'm, I'm piece thrilled. People. And as Dominique said with her cast, I mean, it really is a dream. Yeah. It's a dream ensemble. 
So with you both being playwrights, we know as actors sometimes that we develop relationships. How have you two developed a relationship? Have you met each other before? Is this your first time? Or tell us a little bit about your dynamic. <laughs> We're looking at each other like, you remember? <laughs> uh, we I met mean, we, working on a new yeah, group. With, right, with new group. Yeah. yeah, and we both wrote short plays for students, for high school students. Play. I loved our play. play. I mean, our plays were good. <laughs> Everybody's plays were good. It was a good night. It was a good, it was a good night. And I, I, that was our first... still, uh, I still have a relationship with some of those students. Yeah, it's crazy. They're but amazing. We built plays for these young people, and then uh, since then, I think we've just been um, bumping up against each other in communities until we realized, oh, we in the same community. The same community. That's what that yeah. is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, and I think we uh, did some other, like, didn't we do that short play festival together, or were you just there? See, I don't even I might have just been there. Well, you know, it starts off at six degrees of separation, and yeah. then pretty soon you're like, oh, I one degree. I mean, it's just, this That's is right. what it is. Right. So. And now yeah. Harrison is in the Emerging Writers Group at the Public. Which Dominique was in before. Yes. So it's it's just that. like that. And it's a small world, really. Yeah, it's a small and that's world. what we love about Broadway Black and Black people on and in the theater realm. So can you just really briefly tell us when your show is, where it is, so people will know. Um, yeah. Anything else that you want to say, the thank yous, or what have you? Oh, yeah, thank yous. We'll be here all day. Right. Uh, but the show, Detroit 67, is running at the National Black Theater in Harlem through Classical Theater of Harlem. And uh, we will be running, we open tonight, March 23rd, and we're running until April 12th. Uh, so you can come get your tickets at classicaltheaterofharlem.org. It's, it's, it's exciting. And some of the shows are selling out, so you want to get your tickets fast. Yeah. Great, and Look Upon Our Lowliness is running April 4th through April 20th at the Harlem School of the Arts, which is located on the west side, uh, just a few blocks down for the 145th subway stop. And you can visit the Movement Theater Company website for tickets. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This has been a dream, we thank really appreciate you. you. We look forward to seeing both your shows and hopefully we'll be here tonight as well as for you as well. And I am so appreciative. This is Andrew Shade with Broadway Black and we are out, thank you.